The hills of West Virginia might seem an unlikely place for a Hare Krishna colony, but there it is, New Vrindavan, home to about 200 ponytails and the magnificent Palace of Gold. Hello. Hello. My name is Vrindavan Das. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, this community is called New Vrindavan. It was named after a holy, holy city in Vrindavan. Just like in America, you have New England um, and Newark. Srila Prabhupada came from India. He came to America in 1965 at the age of 70 and then established the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, which is also known, known as the Hare Krishna Movement. They built this whole place for him, didn't they? But he didn't live to actually reside in the palace. Yes, the origin of the palace was meant to be housed for him. Then later on, you know, when departed, his disciples, followers, decided to make a memorials for him. And this is the temple here. This is our main temple. And as you can see, we have three different altars, beautiful altars. Um, Who is this fascinating looking figure? Um, no, Shimha Dev. Actually, Shimha means lion and Nar means um, human. So it's like half human, half lion. He looks very ferocious, but he, he has a very kind heart. He's friendly. He's very friendly. You have nothing to fear. And look, he's got his own fan. Yes, he does. And I see they've got a fan over here for these people too. Who are they? These are Garadha and Krishna. And this guy? Krishna himself in a different form. God can manifest any forms he desires. As you can see, this man in the middle, his name is Krishna. He's holding a mountain with his finger. So. That's better than the Harlem Globetrotters with a basketball. He's got, oh, he's got a mountain. Yeah, he's, he's holding a mountain. That's yeah. just his God. God can hold a mountain with his finger. One of the definitions of God, something beyond our thinking, some infinite, unlimited. You're saying my head might explode. Indeed. What is the significance of the, of the face paint? Uh, what it's is called Tilak. It's a sacred clay we use in a Tumarka body to say this is the temple of God. Well, what's happening now? Uh, now, what are you going to do? It's called Arati, meaning we're going to offer different items to their lordships. We're offering food now to the deities. It looks like he's quite a, got quite a basket of food here for yeah, the deities. Foods. Yes. Our service starts at 5 a.m. in the morning. and it I'll have to miss that one. Is there a later one? Yes. We also have service at 7.30. Still too early. 12.30. Now you're talking. We have 4.30 just now happening. Then you have 7 in the evening and 8.30 in the evening. What's going on now? Now he's offering blessings. To, to the participants, those who came to worship, so. I see. Oh. Thank you. How long does this service actually last? This service is going to last about five minutes. Oh, that's it? Yeah, five minutes. I tell you what, that's better than Catholic Mass, you know? <laughs> You're in and out of here. Yeah. <laughs> To the palace. What is your name? My name is Sadaruchi Das. Sadaruchi Das, this is an amazing place. What pray tell is this room? This is the meditation hall and it's also a, a shrine dedicated to the founder of the Hare Krishna movement. It was started in 1973, built entirely by his disciples uh -huh. and most of them were unexperienced in their construction doesn't look like it. It looks pretty fantastic. It is. Actually, it took uh, seven years to complete it. How much money? Can I ask you that? Uh, you can't really put a price tag on the palace. Total, they spent about $450,000 on materials. But if you add up all the man hours and the labor, that would probably be 10 times more than that. It's got to be a lot to upkeep, too. And I notice some places are a little gone to seed. It's kind of overwhelming because we don't have the workforce that we did back in the 70s. Even the hallways are spectacular, aren't they? Oh, yeah. And the chandeliers, no two are the same. Are peacocks and elephants important to the Hare Krishna religion? Because I see a lot of them. Well, the peacocks are significant because it's Krishna's favorite bird. This is a significant picture of the changing bodies. The body is always changing. The soul remains the same. Starts with a fetus, goes all the way around to the skeleton. This is the study. Prabhupada is uh, sitting here at his desk writing a famous letter written back in 1966. 
These are all his books that you see on the bookshelves. Many Krishnas have the bald head and the ponytail. You just have the ponytail. You didn't go for the bald head, <laughs> huh? It just costs too much to maintain buying razor blades all the time to uh -huh. shave my head. The devotees, they have what is called a sika, the tuft of hair in the back, and that's so Krishna can reach down and pull us out of the material world. Ah. So it's like a handle that Krishna can... I see. You're in Prabhupada's bedroom, and notice the ceiling. It's all hand-painted over top the gold leaf. And uh, this is a world-famous painting that you see on the wall, too. Krishna is always watching us. So any part of the room that you're standing in, you'll see Krishna's eyes actually uh, follow you. And wherever I go, I look at him. <laughs> well, the master bathroom. And you have an antique Spanish mirror that dates back to the 18th century. And the toilet bowl actually matches the sink with the marble. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sadaruchi, if somebody wants to visit the Palace of Gold, where should they go? Well, they just find Moundsville, West Virginia, and we're only 15 miles away from there. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.